Hey, how's it going? My name is John and I go by Fall Row. Hit that intro. All right, we're back with some more Mafia Definitive Edition. Let's go ahead and get right into this. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. All that stuff is linked to the Discord and description on my Spotify page if you want to check that out. And I've been streaming a lot lately if you want to go see me live doing that kind of thing. Let's go ahead and jump right in. I'm so ready. We're doing the things. Uh, oh, you're right. The shootout at the church or whatever was the last episode, I believe. All right. You guys ready? Again, Comfy cozy? Everything went through Frank. The plans, the orders, the money. You could get the call day or night. Look at us in our fancy coat. Ah, Tommy. Frank says to wait for him in the garage out in the back. Eh? You got the job, I think. Thanks, Luigi. Sarah's All right, cooking. Luigi. She's bringing something over. In this rain? <laughs> She's a good girl. I'll see you tomorrow, Luigi. Hope you have a good one, Luigi. Something tells me I might not. Sure. Back in the day, when the boss was still with that phone, he got called out to a hit. All right, Frankie. What do you got for me? Thanks for waiting, Tom. The Don and I had to go over last month's numbers again. Sure. So what's the job? I want you to help Sam and Polly with the shipment we've got coming in tonight. The good stuff? Straight from Canada. Where do you All right. Me? Sam's gone to meet our friends from the north at the farm outside of town. I remember this farm. Polly will oversee the trucks bringing the shipment into the city. But I want you to go with him. Be an extra pair of eyes. Make sure it all goes smoothly. Okay. Can Get do. Get from Ralphie to meet Polly at the warehouse. He's got heaters in case you run into any trouble. Sure, Frank. No problem. Good. Now bring the Canadian home safe, Tommy. There is already a case you're marked for the Don. All right, hey, whatever you say. Um, hold on. Let me just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn V-Sync on because I'm having a little bit of a dumb issue with it. Uh... In some of the scenes, I says his sleep when for for Frank's. I don't know if it'll help, but man, we'll see. He's been working us hard. Morello's taking bites out of business everywhere else, rough. Booze records where we shine. We gotta stay ahead someplace. I noticed a couple things that were kind of bothering me with it, like kind of moving weird or skipping a little bit. So I changed the plates. Maybe that'll help. You can't be too careful. Hey, Rafi, thank you. Okay. A guy. Always helpful. All right. Go get to this warehouse. Do our jobs. Oh, sorry. All right, let's do it. Hopefully this goes well for us. If you've been out in the last couple of hours, you don't need me to tell you. There are reports coming in of a number of traffic accidents attributed to the downpour, with fender benders occurring in Oakwood and Chinatown. A more serious accident has occurred near the White Harbor Hotel, which is causing traffic to back up on the East Marshall Bridge all the way into downtown. The police department is attending incidents as they can, but they make sure we print on the limiter whenever we drive by cops so they don't bother us. Unless their journey is strictly necessary. The roads are treacherous, ladies and gentlemen. So however a good driver you may be, just not worth the risk. I know it's technically not like a very viable strategy to just go full force all the time when you're driving, but for the sake of time, we're going to go as fast as we can so the video doesn't go on for two and a half hours. 
because I am trying to keep the time of the videos down a little bit, but I know they kind of can drag on a bit, so bear with me if it's a long one. I don't know if people like the longer videos or not. Um, hopefully you do, because it's going to happen quite a bit with this game, most likely, but I'm trying my best to make sure it's cut down enough that it's not too much of a problem. Also, it just takes longer for me to edit the videos after because the files get way too big. Um, so hopefully we don't have too many problems and we're able to get through things a bit quickly. I found that, especially when it's raining in this game, it's easier to turn the limiter on and off instead of... Um, instead of hitting your brakes because the brakes will make you spin out and could cause you to crash and like fuck everything up so if you just use your limiter it's able to slow down enough for things like turns and hitting your brakes and stuff if cops are nearby it just is so much faster and easier and you have more control than just hitting your brakes And I know that I technically could skip a lot of this driving stuff. There's even like an option to skip driving in the settings, but I feel like it is part of the game, so I kind of don't want to skip it. But if it feels unnecessary enough or people really don't want it, I don't mind cutting it out, but I kind of like having it. Come on, Tom! Hey, Polly. Ready to do some work? Uh, yeah. Alright, let's We've do it. Few pickups at the farm before. Don't worry. There ain't nothing but cow shit and shine out here. This can only go well. Was load up the Every time Polly says something is easy, back. it's always easy, yeah, and it's never cooking, ever more complicated or difficult. Uh, you see it Sarah later. Luigi's little girl, your night shift. <laughs> You're something else, pal. Protecting the girl's virginity one day and taking it the next. Lay off, Polly. Ah, oh, come on. I'm just kidding. She's a good girl. You settle down, she'll straighten you right out. You're going home to a couch. <laughs> now, I wonder what kind of story she could tell about her old man, though. I he was a stone cold killer back in the day. I wouldn't know. You know she's been helping out behind the bar since she was a kid. Yeah, she must have seen some crazy shit in her time. She's seen and heard a few things. Probably knows more about our business than we do. She knows enough not to ask me too many questions. That's good. She won't ever make a liar out of you. Christ. You ought to marry her just for that. We get married. God damn it. Sam should be waiting here, but I don't see him. Something smells off. Don't let your Pekka get all shriveled up. Probably just trying to get out of the rain. No, let it get shriveled up. Or this is not a good thing. Leg. <laughs> That'll wake him. Okay. Let's go find them. Uh, all right, time to do our job. That bastard is just three sheets, and I'm wrecking a new suit for nothing. I swear I'm gonna kill him. Here, just in case Frank was right. I'm gonna go grab them boys, get them sorted out. You go ahead, see what's what. We'll catch up with you. All right. Time to go do the do my job. Do the do the deed. Oh man, yeah. I remember this so vividly. Doesn't always bold well uh or bold well, that's not what I meant to say. Doesn't always bode well for us. Someone was waiting.
guy we pay to keep this place in check. Don't even pretend to farm now. This don't feel right. A literal axe in the in the thing. Missing farmer found dead. That's not good. Oh. Not the dog. Well, now we have to kill everybody just for that. Where the hell are you hiding? Sammy? Anybody? Hey, buddy. Jesus. Drop your weapon. You first. We don't have time for this. Sorry, pal. Guess we're doing this the hard way. Oh, right. Okay, then. Get over here! I got him pinned down! I remember this. How did pinning me down work for you, huh? Oh. Get rounded. Jesus. Jesus. There we go. Headshot. Alright, those guys are done. This was a setup. Usual place. Yeah, that was a setup. Good, good job. You figured it out. Nothing about this feels right. Wow! It's me, Tom! Polly! What took you so long? Looking for Sammy? Did you find him? Nah, not yet. Just him. Canadian crew. Dollars to donuts to rest the face down in the dirt, too. Ah, uh, this game is so good. They was cops. Oh, Christ. The cops, Tommy. Why were the oh, cops murdering know. people anyway? They didn't Shouldn't have been doing that. God, they didn't say anything. They must be in Morello's pocket. This bastard. He can't even let us have this one racket. Forget about it, Tom. We gotta find Sam and get out of here. Yeah, we gotta we gotta move on. We protected ourselves, technically. We did what we could. Oh, they were Border Patrol specifically, too. That's bad. Well, let me the check deal. these guys for they ammo. Cops from the Border Patrol. Fuck. They've come heavy on right. Make lost heaven. I'll, I'll just keep this shotgun. For continuity's sake. Alright, Polly, lead the way. I would have switched to the Tommy gun, but they gave me a shotgun for the scene, so makes sense to keep it. Anyone else? We slip them the bump. Get it? I saw that blood and started running. You don't want to see this. Jesus. Yeah, that's not good. Looks like we found the Canadians. 
See Sam in there? No. Glad <sighs> so. Poor bastards. Check every building. All right, let's do this. There is for certain some guys in there. Uh, but a good authority that Salieri's whiskey hand over is tonight. Our mutual friend wants a line of Canadian booze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. You'd think they would have heard some of the gunshots. Get him burning. Sam! No! Come on, fellas! Push through! Gotcha! Come on. Pop up. I wasted both my Molotovs. That works. Oh my god, I'm missing all these shots. Come on. There we go. Wasn't enough shotgun ammo. You boys stay here Just enough to survive. Plug anyone who gets within a hundred yards. Except us. I forgot that this is technically the hardest difficulty. <laughs> Doesn't feel like it. Sammy, oh Jesus, what have they done to you? Oh, that's bad. That's real bad. Grace has a lot of blood. Can you walk? No, no, I don't think so. Okay, 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 just hang on. I'll go get the truck, then we'll take you to the doctor. Hey, hey. You're gonna make it, Sam. Tommy, Stay with us, Sam. Stay here with him. I'll be back. I'll be back in a flash. 
Okay. This is a rough day at work. It's okay, Sammy. You're gonna be fine. I hope. Hey, it'll be okay, Sam. We survived worse. Sure. Sure we are. That's not good. Trying to, this guy won't show. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, my God. Okay. Really bad. Please be dead. Over here. Jesus, this hurts. Jesus Christ. Ugh. Where's the goddamn truck? Crap, we got cops. Okay. Uh, get some, some of this ammo. Heal up. Oh, wrong button. Fuck. Yeah, thanks for the information. I'm well aware they're coming up the stairs. Alright, there we go. We made it. Oh, that's stressful. <laughs> At least the higher difficulty does make the combat feel more real and more like actual stressful like situations. He really doesn't take much to kill you. Well, he ain't any worse. So much better. I'll go get him. The easier difficulties feel like you're fucking Superman. <laughs> you're just like, bang, bang, everybody's dead. This feels like it has actual stakes to it. And then that mixed with me, like, trying to get the game done as quick as possible is, like, also just makes it so stressful, but I love it. All right, Sammy, come on. We're gonna get you out of here. Oh, the the gun flip. Unnecessary twirling, but I love it. Uh, here come some more guys. Let's get the fuck out of here. Holly, we got more company. All right, get in. I'm right here, Sammy. All right, this is the shooting from the back of the car. I'll try my absolute best. Which I feel like doesn't mean much, but... That thing back there is huge! Where the hell did I find the... Yeah, he's gone! Take him out, Tom! Let him have it! Keep going, Tommy! You think we're okay now? Let's go! There's more! 
Get out of here. If you're wondering why I'm blind firing, it's because they do more damage right now. Um, so I'm trying to make sure that I can get through this part w without too much hassle. No. Because I can die and the car can die, so you gotta be like extra careful with this part. Which is kind of stressful. Yep, there you go. And that's a failure. That's what I'm talking about. That's all it takes. This part's gonna suck. <laughs> so get ready for that. Did it restart me from the very beginning? I really hope not. Yeah, he's gone. I have no health already. And I'm dead already. God damn it. <sighs> this part sucks. The harder difficulty makes this part just unbearable to do. Oh my god, really? Why is this so fucking difficult? Like shooting out their tires doesn't fucking help. Shooting the guys with the guns doesn't help. Feels like nothing you can do really matters. There we go. Is that it? Can we be done? Of course not. There you go, Polly. This is fine. Everything is fine. Imagine getting shot and then th getting thrown in the back and then getting crushed by all the boxes in the back of a truck. That's so unfortunate. bad. I do like that they added those extra cutscenes for when you fail though. That's kind of cool. I do love that. Then wheel us the fuck out of here. Come on. Keep it moving. Also, it is very lucky that they're um, pretty forgiving with the checkpoints even, even with this going on. Like, bringing you back to this part, and then also, um, you know, making it, like, a possibility to redo it with, like, full health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fail, fail, fail. Always a failure. Come on. Hurry up. 
I wish I didn't have to deal with this loading screen every time. Just let me fucking start the mission. There we go. There you go. Getting through it. He just throws the gun at them. That's so funny. There we go. Just had to do it in chunks on the harder difficulty, but still made it through. Good job, boys. We did it. We made it out. And we only threw some of the liquor, which means we could still sell some. Now let's get Sammy back to one piece. Okay, we're here. Tell him. You get Sam out. I'm gonna go wake up the doc. Sam. Sam. We made it. We're at the doctor's house. Three, I owe you. Yeah, we all owe everybody everything. Come on, get up. Time to get you patched up. Polly, what the hell are you doing here so late? Uh, uh, evening, Doc. Sorry to wake you, but um, we had a little accident. We got an injured man out here. All right, bring him inside. Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll stay with Sam. You can take the truck back. Call it a night. No, I'll wait. The doctor already got his hands full. No sense in both of us breathing down his neck. Go on, Tom. We'll be fine. Okay. Man, Tommy looks rough right now. Hey. He's been through it tonight. We did good tonight. We did good. I don't know if I'd call it that, but <laughs> hey, he said it, not me. So we did good. I guess I also technically said it afterwards, but you know what I mean. Booze delivered, let's get the fuck out of here. We gotta go see our girlfriend. Man, that was stressful. There, it feels like the difficulty spike with the classic difficulty is kind of all over the place sometimes like the beginning of that scene where you're like getting in the fights and stuff i feel like that's not too hard but those moments like in the back of the truck and stuff it just feels so unnecessary with how difficult it is which i don't really mind because i kind of like the challenge and I, I do kind of find it fun but also you know like I was saying earlier, I do want to make the videos at least a little bit shorter so that I can actually <laughs> get them done because it's a pain in the ass to edit the videos down to like a smaller file size. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm kind of okay with it at the same time because I am having a lot of fun. I do enjoy this game quite a bit. I hope other people enjoy it as well, but I'm having fun. The longer ones just kind of feel like I'm doing a Twitch stream, which is, I also don't really mind, but I don't know for the sake of YouTube if people like that as much. I think it's very dependent, especially on the game, of like whether or not it's 
too long or too short. But either way, I'm having fun doing it, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. As long as I'm enjoying it. But I just like being able to show people the games that I like and stuff. And also discovering some game, like new games that I like, like Witch Spring R. When I did a playthrough of that, it was just a full random, like, I didn't know what else to play, so I picked it kind of randomly and was like blown away by how good that game was. And I love being able to find those little discoveries every now and then. For me, at least. I know there, it's, you know, maybe it's a popular game for other people and it's something that a lot of people like, but me personally, I've never played any of those games, so it was very fun to like have a nice surprise of how, ni how much I liked that game. But games like this, I know I love. I know the, uh, the, these are some of my favorite games, so... Like, I can't wait until the day that I can do Mafia 2. Because that's one of my all-time favorite games. Like, easily top 10 for me, probably. Mafia 3 I really liked, but to me it didn't feel like a Mafia game, it felt more like a Punisher game. If that makes any sense. Alright, Sarah. I made it. Honey, I'm home. You're late. Dinner's cold. Our attitude changed so quick. <laughs> Work. She knows that that look. Be a miracle if you made it home and wasn't all fucked up. What a, what a crazy proposal. Marry me, okay. It's not even a yes or anything. Man, what a fucking game. It's so good. Omerta. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. Oh, no. fuck. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. Maybe looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. God damn it, Frank. More than 50 years I've known him. Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. 
This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kids. So are bad. Gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown. Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. Will do, boss. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Oh man, that's so rough. All right, well, I think here's a good place to call it for today, so I'm going to get going, but thanks for stopping by. I really appreciate it, and I hope I see you in the next one. Later. I mean, I mean, we just trying to chill.